Hello, Johnny Rockets here with Bear Old Goons Gaming. I wanted to show everyone the process we use to stream to multiple streaming platforms and also the process we use to make sure that we set everything up right when doing that. So making sure that we get the titles, the game, uh, any description and also tags. Uh, description and tags are more towards uh, the YouTube platform. So let's go over here and open up my web browser and uh, here's the star of the show restream so we use restream to stream out to three different platforms um they do tout that they can stream out to 30 plus platforms simultaneously so that's pretty sweet um but what we do is we stream out to mixer which is owned by microsoft it was formerly called beam uh, microsoft purchased beam and renamed mixer getting ready to uh to rebrand it or they have rebranded it for the Xbox One X launch and they'll also be including it with Windows as well. Um, so Windows and Xbox is going to be kind of an automatic streaming type thing and Microsoft's hoping that will take off. They also use this FTL technology. It's called, I don't know what it's called, Faster Than Light. Um, that's a video game. But FTL technology and it is sub-second delay. It's really sweet. Uh, if you go on Mixer and you see a co-stream, where there'll be a few different uh, few different webcams up at the same time, or a few different streams up at the same time, uh, let's say you hit uh, subscribe or follow, it pops up just about instantly. It's amazing. So they'll just respond to you pretty much instantly. It's really cool. Anyway, let's uh, let's walk you through this real quick. So number one, I'm going to show you just quickly how to use Restream. Uh, number two, which is the most important, is the process that we use to make sure you just cover all your bases and you're ready to go and stream. So uh, you'll go to Restream.io and you'll go and set up a new account. So you can just hit sign up now. I've already got an account or we already have an account. So I'm just going to hit login. My password should be saved. There we go. Rock and roll. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to sign up for an account. And the first thing you're going to have to do is add channel. So my advice would be make sure you're signed into the streaming platforms of choice. So right now I'm signed into Barrel Goons Gaming on Twitch, on Mixer, and also on YouTube. Uh, so if you're signed into your accounts on your platforms, all you'll have to do is go to Add Channel. And let's say uh, click on Mixer. And then, uh, oh yeah, so this is, it's, it says I'm trying to add a double channel, which I'm not. Uh, what I'll do is I'll delete one for you here. I'm going to delete Mixer, delete it, I'm going to add it again. So add channel, click on Mixer, connect Mixer. And since I'm already signed into Mixer, it's just going to do it all automatically. It's going to ask for the permissions down here. We would like permission to blah, blah, blah. I'm going to hit approve. And then Mixer is all hooked up. So what's cool about that is it copies over the stream keys and all that stuff. So the Mixer stream key was copied over. Mixer permissions for chat uh, and the chat window was all copied over. I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, and it does the same for YouTube and Twitch. Anyway, uh, when it comes to YouTube, you're going to get here. There's a few YouTube uh, options. There's YouTube Gaming. There's YouTube Stream Now, YouTube Events. I find if I add YouTube Gaming or YouTube Stream Now, they both just add YouTube Stream Now. So I'm guessing stream now is going to be the, 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 the I don't know, the default for YouTube. Um, but as you can see, yeah, there's a lot of different platforms here. You got popular Periscope, Ustream, um, Mob Crush, Smashcast, uh, some other ones as well. Custom platform as well. So it looks like you can uh, stream to other platforms as well, which is cool. Anyway, so back to restream here. I'm going to close this up. So the process that we use when setting things up to make sure that we don't miss anything uh, I'm going to go through a little example here. So first things first, I go to titles. Now, my brother and I were playing PUBG or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds earlier. So it's set up for that. And you'll see we've got Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer here. And plus, if we go here, we'll see. Oh, actually, I, I, I switched it back just so I could do this little example for you guys. But if I hit refresh on these, uh, that one's already there. PUBG, two brothers, two noobs, two webcams. Uh, Twitch is now going to be PUBG with that game. And then if I go to YouTube, I'm going to go to my little icon up the top right there. I'm going to go to Creator Studio. And once you're in Creator Studio, go over to Live Streaming over here. And Live Streaming should show my updated title at least, PUBG Two Brothers, and my old uh, graphic up there. Okay, so... Anyway, back to restream titles and games. So let's rename this. I'm going to do a Quake 2 stream. So Quake 2 
and I'm using a Quake 2 XP mod. It's called uh, for it's a high res mod. So Q2 XP. Let's say Quake 2 XP high res mod. And I'll put gameplay. No, oh, it sounds like commercials going on in the back, which is unfortunate because I'm just trying to get music here. Skip this ad. Let's go to this music. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I hit that. Sorry for the interruption. So title, Quake 2, Q2 XP, Quake 2 X with high res mod, gameplay, title, whatever you want. Mixer does have a character limit. I'm not sure what the character limit is. I've ran into it multiple times. So I try to keep my titles a little bit short and then I do a longer title sometimes on YouTube or Twitch. So update all. Clickety, clickety, clickety. There we go. So the title is updated on all of them. So that's part one of that process. Part two of that process is the game. So as you can see here, Twitch and also Mixer have a hot link game in there. YouTube does not. So you can actually change the game right here from Restream, which is awesome. So I'll just hit edit here and we're going to hit Quake 2 here. And actually being Twitch, now they do have Quake 2. If I start filling in, there's Quake 2. But Twitch, a lot of people put Retro. Now Retro is actually a game, but a lot of people use this game called Retro for any old game. So any of the old DOS games used to play, console games, arcade games, that sort of stuff. Uh, there's a lot more viewers there, so I'm just going to hit Retro on that. I could use either or. So that one's updated to Retro and then on Mixer here. Well, we're just going to click that game and I'm going to change this to Quake 2. Oh, maybe it's... what do we got? I swear it was here before. Q U A K Quake 2, look at that. I I. Roman numerals. Okay, so in this case we've got Twitch updated, we've got Mixer updated, so all that's left to take care of is the rest of YouTube. So I'm gonna go over to YouTube here to our live dashboard. Uh, like I showed you before. Um and now what happens is uh yeah, the, the description wouldn't be updated. So I would just update it here. Quake. 2 XP mod. I, I, I'd do a longer one than that, but there we go. Um, and also the game wouldn't be updated. So I'd have to come here and I'd have to enter my game. So Quake, Quake 2. Those would have been PUBG, but anyway. Uh, that saves automatically. Also the thumbnail or the graphics. So what I did here was in Photoshop, put together a Quake 2 XP graphic. I'm going to use that. I saved it as a JPEG. JPEG, change thumbnail. Use that one there. If anyone's interested in me doing a little rundown or a tutorial on making some nice graphics for your videos, let me know. I can do that for you. Okay, so there we go. We've got a thumbnail. We've got a we've got a title. We've got a description. The last thing to do on YouTube is actually your tags. So I'm going to go to advanced settings here. It's going to open another window. And in advanced, I'm going to just no, there's monetization. You can do all this type of stuff. There's more advanced settings in here too. You can change your game rate in here in advanced settings. But anyway, I'm going over what I'm interested in right now is basic info. I go to basic info and right here, click at the end of the tags. I need to change some tags. So let's just uh, delete these. Quake, Quake 2, Quake II, Q2XP. You could use whatever you want. Oh, let's put retro in there for the heck of it. Um, so yeah, so I've got some tags in there. I've got my description. I've got my title. We're good to go. But for this one, you have to save changes. The other one's automatic. This one you got to save. So save changes. I'm going to close that. And then what I can do is, uh, you can share a link from here if you want to put it in your Twitter or Facebook. I'm just going to right click, go to YouTube gaming right here. Just to see that everything's updated and boom, looks good. There we go. It's got my title and everything like that. So. That's how you do it. That's the process that we use to make sure that we have everything. So just to go over really quickly in Restream, you'll be on a dashboard. In Restream, what we do is we go to Titles. I change my game title. It applies to all the platforms that I have set up here. Uh, I edit the game for Twitch and for Mixer right here, which is nice. So if I go back to Twitch here, it says PUBG still. I'm going to refresh, Control R. And it should be updated nicely to Quake 2 and then Retro. Right here, Quake 2, Retro. Now, this community thing, you can change that if you want as well. So there's that. Mixer's already going to be updated right there, which is nice, ready to go. And then YouTube, we're ready to go here. We go here, we can see. Now, one cool thing I'd like to point out about Restream. 
uh, chat. So when you've got all three going, you're going to need a way to monitor chat on three different or four or five or however many different platforms you want to stream to. Restream has a great little chat app. I go over to chat here. There's a Windows application you can download, which you can even overlay your, your actual stream. Uh, but I just like to use this web chat link. So I just hit web, get web chat link. I hit launch. It's going to launch a new window. It's going to say connected three of three connected. So that is cool. This sounds like a commercial. Look at this. Look at this commercial with music. Oh, well, anyway, let's just close that right now. I'm going to go to, I already launched that. Let's find it here. Okay. So if someone chats anywhere, really, let's try the mixer. Test. Enter. Let's go to my YouTube. Test. Enter. There we go. So I did one from YouTube. I did one from Mixer. And you'll see right here, I've got a Mixer icon. It says test for Mixer. So you can you can uh, talk to and chat and interact with someone from Mixer, know they're from Mixer. And also here's one from YouTube. So same thing. It's got a YouTube icon, the Twitch one will have a Twitch icon. So yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, restream. Oh yeah. So the cool thing about Restream is you're streaming to one service and it's streaming out to your other services so you only need one stream key into your streaming application of choice i use obs i know there's xsplit there's a bunch of others as well um so this stream key right here you're going to copy that i'm not going to show you what it is but you copy that stream key you put it into obs it's going to stream to restream and restream takes uh care of streaming out to everything else so that's cool so yeah if there are any questions at all, if you have any suggestions, uh, let us know in the comments below. Please hit subscribe if you like this video. If you'd like me to do any other specific videos on streaming or even graphics manipulation or thumbnails, let me know. Otherwise, I guess I'll just see you next time. Again, hit subscribe. We appreciate it. Uh, interact with us. We love to interact with our subscribers and we will talk to you next time. Thanks so much. Again, I'm Johnny Rockets with Bitter Old Goons Gaming and I'll see you soon. Thank you.